thanks so much for your willingness to be a backside sewer and presser. Stop pressing my backside. All right, whatever. So you can see that I'm kind of eyeballing it here. If you're the type that you got to measure it, go for it. But this is, we got to just knock them out. So I just am begging you to not overthink it. You're going to be putting the two right sides of the fabric together. And then from the one end, you'll come about two and a half inches of, is about what I was doing. If you end up doing three or one and a half or, oh my goodness, four, don't get the seam ripper and pull it out. Just, just keep moving. Make the other side a little shorter or something like that. It's just enough that there would be an opening so that they can insert their mask. I find that once I get rocking and rolling on these, if I have a whole stack sitting next to me, I can start pumping them out pretty fast. They... They go, they go good. I, I have no doubt that if you sit there with a stack of however many, I don't know, 50 or whatever, whatever you're up for, you're going to be able to just uh, do a little, do it up and then do a little back stitch just so that it doesn't rip when they have to force their mask in there. And then uh, you could do this or if there's someone else who's willing or whatever, you're smart. Um, you just need to press it open. Um, Miss Zucaro was a little concerned that I had a raw edge there on the other side. I was like, oh, chip, chip, chip. I mean, if, if she was starting to do a zigzag over that raw edge there, but again, uh, these don't have to last forever, hopefully. And, uh, just for now, we just need to get them done. So whatever your preference is, just so that we can move quickly, because this job is the one that we need finished so that we can start doing the next job um, of putting them, attaching them to the fronts. So this one is our first job that really needs to be done. Oh my goodness, do I thank you.